why this talk today? I think it's um, it's been a long discussion and pain. Uh, even a couple of years ago, uh, there was the best documentation, and the, the old one knows about this. The best documentation on Odoo was was the code. You had to uh, open up the code and see for yourself what the uh, what the what what the document. So how what to how to get that's what the only way to get the information on how how to use the system and, and what it was doing so the agenda for for this talk today is mostly revisit the, the requirements for for the for the documentation and see what progress we've done in the in the past couple of years uh, see some options discuss some some options we have uh, in terms of uh, uh, the tools, the content, uh, the process, and, and the, this talk is doesn't provide any any answer yet. It's it's uh, it's a, it's a draft discussion. It's mostly a brainstorm about how how do we uh, individually resolve uh, this documentation issue because most of us are implementing. Uh, the solution for systems for our customers, and it's it's not trivial system. Even if uh, Odoo is marketed to be super easy and and beautiful, but it's uh, not not everything can be self-explained. So we'll see what what the different options we have, and and hopefully, kind of finishing with the an open discussion. What I'd like to hear what people do and and what they suggest and how we can collaborate together to have a uh, a document a, a proper documentation here so part, part of the requirements i've list <clears throat> i brainstormed on my own based on my experiences uh, and the the few the few reference i have is mostly uh when I think about it, like what kind of documentation works is pretty successful today because we know the developer community is it's the documentation is the last the last part of the last part of the process. It's the poor child of, of the uh, of the deliverable that we provide, and uh, and and even Joel mentioned it a couple couple of talks ago is those OCA days are mostly the time where we can sit down and work on the documentation by writing those slides and, and getting the uh, message out there to someone that was not involved in, in a project uh, with a customer. So what, what we want for the so again, that my reference is Wikipedia. And so that's, I think, a pretty successful documentation platform that that everybody knows so far that everybody can contribute to. It's accessible, it's easily available online. Uh, anyone can make changes, can, can enrich the uh, content. We want something that's that support multiple language uh, because uh, even if my, most of my customers today are English speaking people, we have some projects, international project with where document, where translation of the platform but also of the documentation is, is key uh, I mean people uh, expect this uh, the end user needs to have the uh, their stuff in their language and, and matching the uh, current solution they're using supporting peer review uh, again that's like any collaboration uh, we may not agree on everything, uh, and that that's fine. Uh, but the idea is, at least, and we still we still need to protect the content from uh, bots or spams or or anything. So having some kind of peer review and, and control and and versioning is is important here. Uh, managing text space is it's documentation it's it's easy it's and and we'll see later in in the options we have but uh, managing text content 
Uh, GitHub has, is a good tool for that, but we want to include the illustrations. We want to include screenshots, uh, presentations like, like those ones, video, like, and, and the reason is most people today uh, don't read anymore. I mean, we can provide tons of documentation and you can, you can, in, in my work, working with community and helping new people, they don't read, they don't, all the answers are out there, but they don't, it's, even if they are accessible, the people do, doesn't, don't make the, the effort to, to search. And so it has to be attractive, it has to be promoted, and uh, it has to be fun. Uh, and, and today I, I couldn't even add here that it needs to be mobile uh, and, and available from where people are, are using the system. So, uh, one one requirement, one scenario we could imagine as well uh, is print print the documentation as a book or as a training material uh, that anybody can use to uh, uh, do on a, to do a training to do a, a public one open to many companies or. Uh, like the one um, I'll be involved next week in, in doing a, a tutorial, that, that's where I'd like to have a platform where I can go and say, okay, let's, let's generate the, uh, the PDF that I can send to the people that will follow my tutorial and, and then they can follow and I get the latest content with all the fixes uh, related to the latest versions and this kind of things. And most importantly for, for integrators is being able to export or import and import that content, that public content and push it to the customer in whatever formats or forms they, they, they expect. Because some customers, again, they may have their learning platform, they may have their knowledge management process. Uh, and so the idea is how do we feed uh, this this target so that they can they can start with a base and they can adapt or we as an integrator can can adapt this, this that base to their specific process that that comes with the customization that we've done so and they can again use it for training material for uh, user acceptance uh, testing sessions uh, user manual or admin manual or standard operating procedures and and yeah so I mean and they can manage and, and live with that documentation on, on their own and I'm pretty sure there are some other requirements that you guys can can think of so uh, hopefully we can discuss this at, at the end in the uh, in the open discussion so what what are the uh, options we have today. Uh, first, in terms of content, uh, so I should have mentioned the uh, source code here as the first place, because it's still a content that's, that's available. Uh, good thing is Udu got, got resources working on the documentation. I think they've done a good job so far. Uh, it's a lot better than it was, uh, because I think we can still improve. Uh, at least on the uh, uh, on the OCA side, uh, we have books. So we mentioned the uh, earlier in the talk the uh, development cookbook from Daniel. There is this uh, Odoo financial accounting that OSI has been uh, publishing and maintaining for for a couple version now. Uh, I think there is places for for other books as well. Uh, we have lots of blog posts uh, spread across the different website, uh, not, yeah, on the, uh, based on the uh, author uh, initiative, we have some structured module description. So with, with uh, what Stefan did a couple of versions ago is split the readme file. And, and so now that the readme file is, is spread across the different different content, then we can we can use that content individually and, and imagine like a, 
uh, an installation document that gather all the uh, installation part of the module installed, or we can have a, uh, a usage document with all the usage section from, from a module, all the apps, the apps installed. So there, there's content here that, that we can reuse uh, and, uh, and exploit. Uh, we have screenshots, we have slides. Uh, uh, we try to gather them within the OCA. We have the uh, video, so all the all the talks that we'll uh, be creating today and tomorrow will, will be stored on the uh, YouTube channel that I think we just created for the OCA this year. That didn't happen before. And uh, I think last year we started the, the uh, we installed the Odoo slide and share all the OCA Day's presentation from last year. So we have content uh, there available that we can control, that we can publish, reuse, adapt, whatever we want to do here. Uh, we have some tutorials uh, here and there. Uh, and, and the last one is, uh, not sure it's the same, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing most of the integrators have a, have a similar uh, name for this, but it's all the uh, requirements gathering and technical specification and functional specification design documents. So when when at OSI when we do it when we have to provide a, a new feature, we have this design document where that we can publish or uh, that we can access and and so that's again something that can be used uh, and be part of the uh, documentation. In terms of uh, tools available, uh, we have GitHub issues, and uh, which are used today to report bugs, to ask uh, for people to ask questions. That's where some of us also use it to publish uh, designs and specification to request for comments. And, and it, it's also a good way to uh, give a heads up to the community of and the people interested to uh, to uh, to the subject to uh, participate and and uh, bring their perspective and point of view to the uh, to the discussion and to the development that will happen afterwards. So, uh, GitHub issues is is a way is there is some con there, that's a tools that can be where with that's hosting some content today. Uh, GitHub Wiki is, is another tool that, that's available. We don't activate it by default in, in OCA repository. Uh, maybe we should. Uh, maybe, and, and the question is who, I mean, we need to maintain it. We need to, uh, uh, same thing, it, it includes some peer review. Uh, it's also editable online. So it, it has some, some advantages that fulfill the requirements, uh, but yeah, not, not all of them. Uh, another one, uh, and for the, uh, the one that we're using Odoo a couple version ago, uh, they remember, before, I think it was the pre-website the pre era in version seven and before, we have the, we had those uh, document page or wiki pages within the OC, within the Odoo backend. Those modules have been migrated, integrated into the uh, into the OCA and migrated. Uh, they've been used in in couple modules. Uh, some people are using those to document uh, customer processes for the implement for their implementation. So, I believe this is this is a, so the, the tool that's being used. Uh, still being used today. Uh, and what I've done in the past couple of months uh, is uh, extend the, the, those modules to provide a wiki like Wikipedia. So uh, I can show you at the end we, uh, the prototype that that's, that's something we can, we can do that may need some, uh, the tool is still in development. It's not perfect, but it's, the good thing is it's, Based on Odoo, and and we can we can leverage uh, any kind of existing module that that we have. 
And the last one is the uh, Odoo e-learning that's now that was uh, released in the Odoo community uh, on version 13. And that that's uh, another tools we can leverage again and then no, I don't know if people are using it today during their implementation or not, but that, that's, uh, that's a, I think, a, a good way to provide a step-by-step -step experience where people are guided and, and they go through different contents, whether it's uh, text-based, video, uh, and schema, illustrations, slides. So th those are a good way, I think, to... Uh, to package content into something that I, don't, I haven't checked if it's available, if it's possible to export and import. I'm, I'm guessing it, it should be. And I think there is also some open source standards uh, to export courseware. Not sure if it's SCORM or something, but uh, in that area, my experience, my previous experience is based on Moodle. And, and I think there is a, a format defined, an open standard to uh, grab the a course and, and exchange it from one one platform one instance to another so that that may be something we can we can leverage as well and, and again the, the the whole thing here is i don't think there is a perfect tools that answers all all the requirements and can host all the different content type uh, so uh, if it was, uh, I think we would all know it and we will all be using it. So I think that's what I'm, I'm hoping to get in the discussion is what, what, how should we start? What's the combination that we should be uh, using on? Because the idea is it's, it requires a significant effort to build uh, and start, start the snowball effect. So uh, that's, uh, that's why I'd like to... Uh, uh, hear what you have to say, uh, hear your feedback, your comments, and maybe draw some action items uh, from there. And before we switch on to this, I can show you the uh, prototype I was mentioning. You can go to uh, odoodoc.org. And that should give you to the uh, English versions of the wiki I discussed. Uh, so briefly, it, it's wiki, it's document pages being displayed on the website with tags, with uh, categories. And uh, so all those are displayed here in the, pretty uh, raw on the, on, the, on the menu on the left. And we have the search on the right. Uh, we have the, uh, a banner at the bottom to display the category of a page. And, uh, and then we can have uh, a page can, can include some, uh, some text documentation with formatting. Uh, I'm not sure I have a, an example with, the, uh, with some illustration. But we can we can determine uh, we can import content uh, in into this. Uh, we can I mean there's lots of things we, we can do uh, based on the, based on the uh, document page here. So questions, feedbacks, insult. I'll take them as well. That's fine. Uh, uh, you can tell me I'm crazy if, if you want to. Uh, so the, the link, so the prototype I did is, is, a, is a personal initiative. Uh, it's based on OCA module. It's hosted on, uh, on a server I, I finance and it's odoodoc.org. Uh, I started this uh, with a discussion, uh, during a discussion into a Odoo meetup here uh, in Mexico with uh, Cesar Frostro, who uh, uh, started something, uh, started to gather all the videos he could find and, and started to, uh, on, on Odoo 13, that was a year ago, 
and basically was scripting the video into uh, some steps and was managing this with uh, GitHub. And so that, that's where we discussed together and purchased this domain name and uh, start trying stuff. Uh, and uh, that, that's, that's how we, we, got, we got there. So it's uh, odoodoc, O-D-O-O-D-O-C dot org. If that answers Virginia's questions. Any, any other questions? So Maxime, if, if I understand well, what you envision is some, some platform where we could, on the one side, collect existing documentation from README, and on the other side, let users enrich the documentation with uh, additional content. Uh, yep. Well, yeah, the idea, I mean, there is nothing automated yet. Uh, all the all the content I've put in this platform right now, it's it's manual. It's uh, I just wanted to see if there was an interest in the community, then and some if some people would pick it up. But the, the idea is uh, to gather contents we have, and and I think that that's why I, I mean the. Uh, we can we can populate this based on 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 module description, and we can also this is a version thirteen uh, installation, so we can I can install the e-learning and maybe the idea here is we have this wiki with uh, lots of pages and content uh, structured in a way that when that people can go and create uh, an e-learning course and mix up the content from those pages the way they want. So maybe they will design, a, a, I don't know, a, a training course for salespeople. And so they will start with a video from the Odoo website. They may continue with a, a page from this, uh, uh, from this wiki and include some slides from and a video from from the OCA days or th this this so make 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 their customize their own documentation yeah. set and then they can just export this and import it into the e-learning module that they install for their customer locally mm -hmm. and that's where uh, the continue the documentation can continue to evolve privately based on the customer process so that 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 would be the uh, that, that could be a solution yeah yeah um, we have another question from Babesh. how it is uh, different from auto apps i believe he's talking about so the, the problem with documentation and, and module description it's it's app based and so, and, and you know that when, when we do provide these solutions to a, pro, uh, to a customer, when we do the, the, the I mean, the, the separation by module, the, 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 the end user doesn't care about it. He's not doing like one documentation of a module and then another. No, it's, he has a process, that process is supported by 10, 15, 20 modules, and he wants a documentation of the process, not the module. And so, because he will be following this documentation and going, going to a screen, entering fields here and there, and those fields may be coming from 10 different modules, and he doesn't need to know what the documentation of each of those modules. So it's mostly a user, a user documentation, a process-oriented one, where we could also imagine something like, this is my scenario, and, and or that's what, that was my attempt with the tutorial section is, here is my scenario, and here is a set of module, we can document here is a set of module that you, that you need to install, and then you can follow this process. 
All right. Thank you, Max. We have another question from Daniel. Uh, is there a source code a report where we can review the code and discuss or propose uh, discuss or propose improvements? I think we can dis continue the discussion on uh, on Discord. Uh, most of the modules here are posted on the OCA uh, slash knowledge, so that that's where they are. Uh, we can issue there. We can. Uh, we can start uh, one tool that didn't and that have been used in the past is the toolbox. That's where some some of the uh, road roadmap of modules or initiatives have started with. That that's something we can we can use as well. Uh, but the uh, uh, yeah the. That, that's that's where I'm, I'm. I'd like to get some some feedback of what do we do next? Like, are are we continuing? Are you interested to continue in in the direction of trying to lay out with the wiki and and e-learning, or should we switch to GitHub, or should we go try everything and see what works and what doesn't, and who survives and who dies? That that's that's an approach I'm I'm fine with as well. It's it's more, uh, it requires more effort, but I think pretty soon we'll see which options is is having is getting attraction and getting successful. Yeah. Uh, I guess we only have, we in the same uh, in the same direction. We also have a um, announcement from Manuel. He's um, giving us uh, like kind of a, a heads up uh, for our intercooperation initiative. We're getting, uh, we are giving a talk tomorrow morning. We have implemented bookstapapp.com as a documentation tool. Our aim is to pull all of our functional documentation up there. It works great. It has online editing, commenting, illustration, and exporting, but it's not a multi-languages. Uh, check it out or come to our talk. Uh, it's bookstackapp.com. Bookstack? Stack app. APP. Yeah, in the end. Yes, like that. Okay, that's, thank you for the recommendation. Okay, I'll take a look at this. Uh, any other feedbacks or what? Um, what? No, yeah. I think that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Max. It was really great. Thank you. Yeah.